So the Nets and Lakers are one and two. It's a long season, but we want to overreact a little bit. Should either team be concerned with how they started their season? So I went to the Nets game yesterday because I was preparing for this show. That's why you went? Yeah. Okay. Obviously not a lie. <laughs> and what I learned was that the James Harden experience might be an issue. So the big picture thing about all of this, right, is of course we can't overreact. It's October. But the thing with James Harden, how they're calling fouls differently, be where they've enacted basically the James Harden rules, That's where right. if you try to draw – Wow, he's that's honestly more agility than the James Harden I saw yesterday was able Aww. to display. Aww. No, he's just he's everything about his game seems off. He doesn't seem like he's totally in shape just yet. And also these rules are preventing him from getting to the line. Back in the day, he would go to the line like double digits every game. And now it's three, three, and three, I believe, in the first three games of the season, which is again small sample size, but it tells me that the referees are actually, actually doing this thing and it's not going to be Steph who's going to be impacted most it's going to be this guy because they seem to want to make a point and if James Harden can't do that they're not only down Kyrie Irving they're down the version of James Harden that was an MVP and so on that level if you want to spin a headline out of that I kind of believe that this will be tougher than you think yeah I mean I'm sorry Alabaster but yes it's way too soon to have any of these conversations this um foul rule maybe it's going to be a thing but we did this at the beginning of the football season, uh, talking about taunting. We did it at the beginning of the football season earlier about reviewing, uh, or two seasons ago, about reviewing pass interferences. Like, we do these. Remember they changed the ball in the NBA for a couple of weeks? They do weird stuff at the beginning of the season. Oh, that weird ball. By the That's end of right. the season, they change that, or they, like, regress back to what they normally do. But this question was about the Nets in the Lakers. And so we had a chance to talk about LeBron, and we didn't. Somehow you pivoted to Harden, which – I mean, that if that is not a missed assignment for a sports media personality, I don't I know. know. What is Undermining it? the traffic of this video is, is what I'm Rich doing. Is that Rich Paul or is that There's Nino a... Brown? I don't I don't know <laughs> <laughs> who that is, but or is it We also uh, is we also I, I, Oh, it's Rich Paul. I, you put him close to LeBron. It makes no. him Rich Paul. Oh, there you okay. go. Fair. Fair. But but Gojo, the other thing I just remembered is that, you know, there was this sort of like actual physical confrontation that Anthony Davis had with Dwight Howard that happened on Friday that allegedly is all cleared up now. And that's another thing where like, I cannot believe I didn't just wring more traffic out of that to start this topic. Speaking of that and speaking of spicy takes, did we quietly get one of the only spicy looking Magic Johnson tweets ever coming off yes. of that? Where he claimed to have never seen anything like that in all of his time around the Lakers? Like, that situation managed to coax it out of magic, and we were going to no, blow right past it. No, Gojo, the terror alert scale of NBA news, the <laughs> most red red should be Magic Johnson <laughs> expressing an opinion. It should absolutely be that. Our like, he actually said Jones. something. Our colleague, the guy I hopped on a couch like Tom Cruise to dap up when he came to the seaport, that Magic Johnson expressing a hot take of some sort is, is yes, that should be panic-inducing. I do Magic think will have you doing strange things for Dat, by the way, too. Like that dude's got the he's got the it factor to where like you're immediately drawn into his aura, and then you got to make sure you nail that Dap right away because the last person you want to screw that up with. Is Magic I, I had a leg. I, I like leg kicked. I had a leg kick somehow. Like a pitch. I remember motion. it was it was it was bad. Like Elaine, it wasn't great. I don't I don't watch it a was, lot of was, Seinfeld, was... but I, I remember <laughs> Elaine dancing. And she did like a thumb kick. Is that what you did? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's actually yeah. disturbingly close to what happened. As again, I Why? was on top of the couch. Or you just because like. Because I excited, wanted you to thought, nail this thing. So you thought. I wanted to nail how, this thing. How, I was going to dap at 100 miles an hour. I needed to wind magic? up like Fernando Valenzuela. Uh, how old is Magic? Like late 50s, 60 something? Anyway, yeah, the point is. 60s, yeah. You yeah. thought that a 60 year old black man 62 was, was was doing leg kicks daps you were like i'm gonna hit he's him with a rocket and he's gonna be impressed oh 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 no i i just needed to get oh. my own personal velocity up to match his <laughs> thank you for watching espn on youtube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to espn plus